So don't mind the mess here. I've been dealing with house plants uh, all morning, but I decided to go downstairs and check on my calla lily bulbs and <laughs> they're all sprouting. So I've decided to pot them up um, and get a little head start on the season. There, now the one pot of calla lilies that I had last year has turned into four. So with eight weeks, nine weeks before this fuchsia plant can go outside, I have just reduced it by, oh my gosh, probably half. And it killed me to take off all these buds and all these gorgeous blooms, but it had to be done. Every stem that I took off, look, had buds and blooms on it. Look at this. Uh, it's for the greater good. <laughs> it was getting to the point where I had to water it like every three days. So it'll flush back even thicker to go outside. I'm aiming the first week of June. Look at these little go-getters. <laughs> I forgot I had them downstairs in with my dahlias. They're my begonias. So I have potted them up and they can live here for two months. I also found a box of peacock tulips, I believe they're called. And uh, they're fine, they're not sprouting, so they're just gonna go back in storage for a bit longer. And then a bag of, actually two bags of gladiolas. And they're good, they're not sprouting, they're nice and firm, so they are also going back in storage. Then there's this box of random daffodils and tulips, I believe. And I think I had dug them up um, to go into the compost, trying to thin out what I already had in the gardens. And Bill was doing me a favor. He came across them and brought them in. Okay, these are onions that I grew last year that never got very big. And I wondered if I grow them like a set, like this, essentially what a set is, is a one year old onion. So I thought if I put these in the ground, they would get bigger this year. <laughs> and what about the ones that have already sprouted here? Can I put them in the ground or what do I do with these? And these are my geraniums that I put to sleep in my basement in this big leaf bag and they're still green so this is very encouraging so I'm going to plant these today and see if I can add to my geranium collection. If this truly works then I won't need to take cuttings and babysit them all winter long anymore. So these are looking pretty good. The stems are firm. There's some uh, rod or dead at the top that I'll cut off. Um, trim back the roots and go from there. I put them in the bag with all the leaves on and everything. I didn't cut this back. My thought process was that the energy from the dying leaves would give it nourishment or something over the winter. Because when I tried this last year, it, it didn't work. It was a hot mess um, and I had no green. Then again, they were also stored out in my garage, which gets to minus 20 C. So my basement, although not really cold, um, definitely seems to have done the trick. Okay, so here's something I'm unclear about. I have cut this back, the stuff that was dead, definitely dead on it. But see how the sprouts are coming out of the very tops of these stems? If I reduce the, the size of the stem, will it still sprout? So one plant, I did that, I cut it right down to within two inches, three inches of the, the center. And this one, I'm going to leave the growth points at the very end off and see 
what kind of growth shoots out from the sides of the stems. Because I, I don't want a long, leggy geranium through the whole season. I want to try to get this compact. Hard to believe they're going to amount to anything. <laughs> the surfaces in my house are getting really full. But here is the other one. Actually, I put two in there. There's one at the back. And where's that other one? The other one's right there. So we'll see what they look like in two months. So the other thing I pulled out of storage today is my poor Dahlia. <laughs> I only bought one last year because I don't have luck storing these at all. And um, when I pulled this out and saw how desiccated it was and took a closer look, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see on here. Okay, I can't get it to show up on the camera, but trust me, there is teeny, teeny, tiny growths on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak this for up to 48 hours. So tomorrow afternoon, I'll come and check and see if those tubers have plumped up any. If not, I'll let them go another day. And then I'm just going to put them in a bag full of soil with the top section out of the soil and see if I can't get it to sprout. And if I can, then I'm going to cut the little sprouts off and pot them up and hopefully I will get my beautiful dahlia back. I can't remember the name of it right now. I'll put it on the screen if I can figure it out. I think it was Darlene. Anyways, fingers crossed. So the other thing I put to sleep for the winter was one fuchsia plant. Actually, it's four plants inside this planter. Um, it is also my neighbor's and I thought I'll just let it go dormant in a brown paper bag again in the basement and just uh, see what happens. When I pulled this out, it was super dry and watching some more videos, I probably should have given it a little bit of water once a month through the winter. So I'll take note of this, but I did soak it. I am soaking it here in the tub and uh, we'll just see what happens. Everything in this video, I will update in exactly four weeks time. So subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will be notified when I put up my update. Thanks everyone. Bye.